for the late arrival for this men's 94 kilo final. So 175 kilos on the bar for the Iranians' first attempt. Yeah, this is uh, Ashgar Ibrahim, the current Asian champion of the season. And 175 on the bar represents the weight he lifted in the Asian Championships, ranked fourth in the world this season in the Federation's international rankings. I always wonder about the uh, applause for a failure, David. Uh, is it encouragement or...? Well, he tried. He did try. Well, in this uh, 94 kilo class, the world record for the snatch, 188 kilos. The junior world record, 185. 232, the clean and jerk world record held by Simon Kolecki from Poland and the world standard at senior level 417 which has never been achieved. So still on 175 kilos. This is for the Russian Konstantinov. Or is it his teammate? Uh, Sozaev. <laughs> There's two of them. Yeah, Sozaev. 175. Sozaev is uh, a man who's uh, showed some form. He's 23 now. Showed some form in 2001 and 2002 at the junior ranks, but yet to translate it at senior level. So opening. Uh, Success of 171 for Santiago and Martinez. Now this is four kilos up. Martinez, sixth in Europe this year. And this would be a five kilo improvement. It would be just about where he was in the Olympics in the snatch, where he finished ninth. Behind, of course, Milen Dobrev of Bulgaria, who is on paper at least the man very much to beat in this class. Milan Dobrev, the uh, Olympic champion and world champion. No lift for Martinez. And I think that's the fascination really in this 94 kilo class, David. Milan Dobrev comes here as the reigning world and Olympic and former European champion. And with 407 and a half kilos as his Olympic total, he's the man they've all got to topple. But having said that, if you've been with us right the way through the championships, you'll know that the Bulgarians have not had a stellar week here in Doha. So it'll be very interesting if Dobrev is the one Bulgarian that can pull things out of the fire for them. So Ibrahim, second time of asking at 175. Oh, well, no. Uh, well, it's interesting because he'd, he'd actually posted 170. His warm-up obviously had gone well because he's increased it to 175, but he's now in that position that nobody likes to be in, just hanging on with one attempt. Now, this will show just how close... It just went that little bit too far. Just couldn't control. And it's horrible actually when you when you're sitting down there and you know it's just just gone that bit too far and you're you're just sitting there trying to to hang on to it. Interesting, you will have noticed there uh, Vadim Vakachuk of uh, Moldavia down in fifth place, only 163 kilos and only 168 for uh, 
uh, Kasabiev of uh, Georgia, the 18-year-old who uh, is actually 18 today. It's his birthday. Vadim uh, Vakachuk, no total in the Olympics in Athens, but the bronze medalist at uh, the last World Championships behind uh, Dobrev and Yilmaz of Turkey. And here's Martinez trying to recompose himself. Now it, was, it was his brother lifting, wasn't it? Earlier on in the... 77 yeah. kilo class. Yeah. Incidentally, uh, many thanks for the emails. Uh, email in from uh, Gemma Taylor. Uh, Britain's strongest woman and uh, just having a little pause here Gemma, I'll come back to it in a second. <laughs> sure. And uh, the point you're making is that uh, Exactly the one we were discussing, David. Uh, is it fair that a woman of 135 kilos competes in the same category as a woman who's sort of a little more over the 100 and over 75? More of that in a, in a moment because we need to concentrate on this man, the defending world champion, the reigning Olympic champion, Milan Dobrev. Well, seems to be following the, the, the trend. Well, it's early days uh, to count him out, but 176. Well, counting him out, but 176 is a very, very low weight, and that was, that was very unimpressive. Didn't get enough height on the bar. And we're talking about a first attempt here, David. Yeah, we're talking about a man who, you know, the Olympics snatched 167 and a half. Okay, albeit that he's not in his Olympic form, but an 87 and a half. 187 and a half. But you know, in all those uh, titles that he's won, he won the Europeans in 2003, snatched 182 and a half. Won the Worlds in 2003, snatched 185. Won the Europeans in 2004, snatched 185. Won the Olympics in uh, obviously August 2004, 187 and a half. So here he is, consistently. Available. 176 yeah. and, and and but it's the, it's the it's the trend it's all the Bulgarian lifters are, are way way down and it just underlines this this thing that we were talking about earlier in the week about it it's not just about finding good athletes I mean in Great Britain we've got loads of potential athletes but we don't have the backup system and and the, the lift the lifters don't have the motivation and uh, now that we're seeing disruption in the Bulgarian organization, it, it, it's channeling its way all the way down to the lifters. And, you know, just just his demeanor, the frown on the forehead, you know. Well, he was actually posted to come in at 180 kilos, so he, he's reduced that by four kilos, and he's still yeah, failing. So I suppose in a way it's it's bad because you know, the Olympic champion isn't doing as well as we'd, as we'd hoped, but in another way it's quite good because it, it means that this competition is completely wide open and uh, I really wouldn't want to uh, guess who's going to win. So, second time of asking, 176 for Dobrev. Well, that was a lot better. A lot more decision and determination inside the man. And just a little bit of information in from uh, Matt Booth on the uh, Chinese woman, Matt uh, Ma Shuang Shuang, involved in that uh, Titanic fight for the women's uh, super heavyweights. Uh, she was originally uh, listed to compete in the national games, tells us, uh, tells Matt. Uh, but she won the Nationals back in April with lifts of 127 and a half and 162 and a half for 290. So it would appear that uh, the Chinese are still wishing to use the two and a half kilo increment. But thanks again, Matt, uh, for your uh, interest and support throughout the championships. And this is Martinez again for Spain.
Well, it was a good effort, but unfortunately, he has to stay down on 171. Yeah, just going back to uh, Gemma Taylor's uh, remarks, David. Uh, Gemma, you're suggesting that maybe the super heavyweight class should, there should be, as you were saying, David, a, a sort of light super heavyweight and a heavy, heavy super weight, so that perhaps the real super heavyweight should be 100 kilos plus. Well, that's right. That's right. I mean, it, I mean, it, she makes the point uh, that even in, in strong women, they've got women who weigh 75 kilos competing against women who weigh 135. Well, I guess uh, you could argue that you have a that you have two weight classes. But if it's going to be the world's strongest woman, maybe it's going to have to be it will have to be the world's biggest women as well, in the same way that it is that it is with the men. But it's a good point. And thanks for the email, Gemma. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, the lifting because we think the women have been mighty impressive but there's a an impressive effort there by Akhmatov of Kazakhstan looking today for a total of 400 weighed in at uh, 92 kilos 90 and opens on 177 yes he was yep. down at 175 so in contrast to Dobrev he's actually gone up on his original starting poundage and been successful yeah and he's a he's a 185 man so every chance that he's going to get there. And here's another well-known name, Nizami Pashayev, the world champion in 2002 in Warsaw and uh, runner-up the year before. And once, anything between 177 and 181 is not a surprise. That's the sort of range that he operates in. But at the last world championships, at the Olympic Games, on both occasions, no total. But he looks a lot more in shape today. It's a comfortable opener. From uh, Azerbaijan. He looks switched on as well, doesn't he? He looks yeah. as if he's here, ready to do a job. Yeah, did a 177 in Jeddah this season, back in uh, April. Total up 392.5. But having said that, David, the important thing is he was lifting in the weight category above this. He was lifting in 105. So he's come down. But there's no doubt that uh, he is looking a little bit more like his old self. Now, Sazayev for three out of three. What did I say? Three out of three? 177 he's going for now. Yes, already succeeded with 175. And that's good. <laughs> yeah, we all know how that feels. <laughs> yeah, three good lifts. Yes, so I think we're going to see the Iranian now, who, remember, failed twice with 175. Decided to uh, increase the weight by two kilos to 177. Now, I think he I think he can do this strength-wise, taking the two kilo jump just to buy some, some time, just to get himself back together again. He just needs to keep the shoulders over just in the, in the final phase of the pull. Well, it's do or die for the Asian champion of this season. Good to see. So it makes the correction and stays in the competition. And you could actually see there, David, that actually he was very strong. And it's a pity that he didn't get one of those first two efforts in because I think he could have gone further than this. I think he could have got to 180. Because you have a look at, yeah, just at the end there, that was, he was holding that absolutely comfortably. 
Yeah. But that's the thing, you know, like all sports, and what, what you know, weightlifting is is uh, is no different. If it's not just about being the best technician, it's not just about being the strongest. It's about focus of attention, getting it right when it matters. There was a B group earlier in the day, and it was the man from Cuba, Hernandez Coba, who was the best of the B group, totaled out 385 and contributed a snatch of 165 and 220 in a clean and jerk for that total. So clearly the Bieber group are not going to uh, overtake these guys. And that's a really nice lift there by Patatoski of Belarus, just 22 years of age and a really nice opening attempt. And of course the lead for now. Now, Still, uh, Mikolai Patatoski, we saw him in Europe, in Sofia, in the spring, and 175 was his finishing total. He's junior world champion in 2003, so interesting to see how this man from Belarus makes progress. But look at Dobrev down there, David, 176. And you wouldn't expect him to be amongst the pack, you'd be expecting him still to be about to come in. Well, we know that the, uh, the Kazakhs are beginning to uh, find some talent, no lesser man. 24 hours ago, David, than the 17-year-old Ilya Ilin of Kazakhstan. Fantastic new sets of uh, marks there, winning it by a single kilo from Lu Yong in an excellent competition. And we've got uh, Akhmatov of Kazakhstan involved here. 177 opener. He is uh, on 92 kilos, 90. He's a little bit lighter than uh, Pashayev. He's lighter than Dobrev. And he's actually lighter than Patatoski, so interesting. And now the bar goes to 180 for Konstantinov. Of Russia. Yeah, Roman Konstantinov. Again, as you can see, just recently out of junior ranks, but not to be. His third and final attempt. And maybe just a bit too ambitious that way. 170 was a 10 kilo jump. The desire was to try and put himself back on track but I'm afraid it hasn't paid off. So Dobrev at 180. Gets this, he's still dangerous in the overall sense, David, but he, he has to get this. So this for the lead, but still lots of lifts to come in this uh, men's 94 snatch. That's a lot better. Remember, this man on his form could clean and jerk 222. So, 222, if he was anywhere like that sort of form, then he would be a threat. But puts himself into the lead, waiting at 93.82. So, he's a lot heavier than uh, the majority of his opponents. But remember, Pashayev has got two lifts to go. Akhmatov of Kazakhstan, two lifts to go. Patatoski, two lifts to go. And he's about to use one of them now. So, of course, this, this uh, underlying why the one kilo rule is so good. Able to come in on 181 and take the lead with his second attempt, should he succeed. Oh. 
Well, he certainly fired up. Good left for Patotsky, and he moves into first place. Loaders, we need 182 kilos on the 182 for the second attempt. Akhmetov, Kazakhstan. The left of the follow will be Nizami, Azerbaijan. So there you can see the uh, situation. Five lifts remaining. Now Akhmatov, he's lighter than Patatoski. Taking 182 though. Yeah, this already has become interestingly tactical. So we're just, uh, these men are weighing just under 15 stone. Weight on the bar, 182 kilos or just a shade under 400 pounds. Now that's a bit of a problem David because he that effectively drops him back down the ranking 177 he would have been going into the lead so he's got an important decision to make here I think the decision has got to be that he goes for the same weight but the question is does Patatoski want it or this man this man definitely does Nizami Pashaev they've got his family name as Nizami but we know him as Nizami Pashaev So 182. Now he's lighter than Patatoski, only just 92-95 versus Patatoski's 92-96, but it's good enough to put him into first place. And he's got one more to go. And I must say, Pashaev looking good. So this snatch competition really starting to to hot up now. Akhmatov out for 182. Now if he does do this, then he goes into the lead. Again, lighter body weight. But then he'll just have to wait and see what happens to the other two. Whatever happens, he's not going to get left behind by much. So again, he needs to keep over at the at the top of the first phase of the movement. Mustn't let the shoulders come back. Very good recovery. Well, what you identified. He had obviously worked out for himself and executed extremely well. So, Kazakhstan now have the lead. Well, the graphics have put him at, as, as ranked second. But, uh, well, I worked it out. 92-90, sure. 92-90. Unless the body weight list that we've been provided is wrong, he is definitely in the lead. Now, Pashayas on 182. Patatoski's on 181. So, as far as I'm concerned, uh, Akhmatov, they see they haven't got the zero there, which is probably what's confusing them, but it should be 92.90 for Akhmatov, in which case they'd actually. Case it, they've got it the wrong way around. Yeah. Just for a change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just for a change. But it is definitely the man from Kazakhstan who leads. He may not lead for very much longer, though. Here's Patatoski coming out for 184. 
so obviously this would be the lead and then after that uh, it would be up to uh, Pashaev where he wanted to go. Pashaev is that fraction lighter than Patatoski, so 184 would be good enough to take the gold if this man, of course, picks this up. 184, yeah. Hmm. Didn't need 184. 183 would have uh, would have been enough. But just putting a little pressure on. It's a new PB. That's for sure. Well, he's really exploding on the stage. Very good lifting. Yeah, more than a little pressure. Now, Pashaev, I'm just trying to think if I've ever seen him lift this sort of weight. 184? I don't think so. No. I think 182.5 when it was the old system was uh, the old money. The best I can, yeah. I can remember him lifting. So, 185 kilos. Well, again, I don't quite fathom. Well, I don't quite fathom this because weight-wise, he wouldn't need to take this to take the gold medal. He could have taken 184, but he's choosing to go 185. So clearly, the former world champion, the world champion of 2002 in Warsaw, believes that he's back to his very best and even better than his previous best. Well, he's on fire today. <laughs> I think we can safely say he's quite quite happy with that lift. <laughs> so 185 gives him the gold medal in the snatch phase. Gives him a one kilo advantage over Patatoski of Belarus. So Azerbaijan, Belarus. And then in the bronze medal position, it's the man from Kazakhstan, Bakhtik Akhmatov, who has 182. But all pretty close there, just three kilos between the first three. And only five kilos away is Milan Dobrev. So this is going to be really interesting because uh, Pashaev, who looks to be back up to something like his best, he has clean and jerk 222. So has Dobrev. But if you look at the two men, they're slightly chalk and cheese in the way they're appearing on the stage at the moment. And there it is, confirmation. Dobrev, I think still a threat, being only five kilos off the pace. And he won't want to relinquish his world title.